My name is Laura Zalenga and I'm a portrait and self-portrait photographer from Germany. But during the last few years, the world became my home because I'm traveling a lot for my images. So when I started using Sony, uh, that was with the A7R2. And nowadays it's the A7 III and the A7R3. To me, it's super important to have something that is um, not heavy and not bulky because I'm out in the woods, I'm out in the mountains, I'm climbing up waterfalls, I'm climbing into caves, and it's just me and a backpack, camera, lenses, out into the wild. Natural light, always. I just adore, like, working with what's happening around you. With the A7R 3 it just enables me to go through all the situations that I face during my adventures and capture it and be happy with it in the end. I never really think about the dynamic range, but the thing is I never have to think about it. I often shoot like with different kind of light situations and then really happy that I can bring back parts of the image that I wasn't really thinking about while taking them. I guess in the time of the internet, you often question why you would really need um, 42 megapixels. But I think what every artist is a lot more interested in is like showing in a gallery, showing something on maybe a big, big billboard. It doesn't necessarily have to happen with every image, but if you go back and you have the possibility, if someone asks, you're gonna cry if you don't have the resolution to actually do that. So to me, that is often a game changer. With my self-portraits, it's really like a long, long story of evolving. Like I started just having like a seven seconds timer and then running back and forth. And now with this camera, I can like connect my phone. And that was seriously one of the most magical moments of my life when I had my phone in my hand and I could see what the camera sees. So right now I'm really looking into what my composition will be like. Having a digital viewfinder is like a game changer because it just it takes a lot less testing. You just immediately see what you will get. Gives you more freedom and saves you a lot of time. To me, one thing I really like is shooting with people who dance. With that, it's really, really cool that the Sony has the 10 frames per second, so I can actually focus on my composition and the mood you have in the image. So it gives me more freedom. So for this, I'm using the IO to focus, and it's just amazing because it keeps like me focusing on something else while the camera does all the focusing on the eye, and I can just be like completely on composition on which moment I want to capture. My absolute favorite lens is um, the 85 1.4, the G Master. The most magical portrait lens I ever touched. With the bokeh that you get in the combination with still having the sharpness, it's like if I don't have that lens with me and I would normally take a photo of someone, I just can't take that portrait because I know I'm not going to be satisfied. I think the one thing that I really love about my Sony A7R 3 is that I feel relaxed. I don't have to think, think. I can do the feeling part. I'm the one who can focus on what I think should be my job. The mood, the emotions, the composition. And the camera is doing all the rest and I can rely on it. There is maybe no other camera that fits me and what I want to do. And to me, this is perfect.